Hey guys, Dion here with the Tuning School. If you've recently updated on your HB Tuners software to version 5.0, you've probably noticed some things have been grayed out. We're gonna take a look at this and see how we can get this fixed for you. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is update the software first. If you already haven't, you're gonna to go to help, about, and as you can see on my screen, I've already updated my software. If you need to update it, it'll say uh, update found to 5.0.4, like what I'm on right now, you hit update, it'll go through the process. Once you're updated, you will see uh, certain parameters on these files grayed out. I have them pulled up here on the screen so you can see, and those items are gonna be read only. The reason why they are read only, if you look at the bottom of some of these things, it'll say it is for off-road use only. So what HP Tuners is doing is making sure that you know what you're turning off. And if you are using this, it is for a off-road use only vehicle to keep you 100% emissions compliant. Okay, so to get into the test, then we'll go down perimeter access. You have the little blue link right here. It'll give you a device code and device description afterwards to link it. You click on that link here i already have it opened up for you once you get there it says compliance and emissions training advanced parameter training so you're going to hit start it takes about 15 to 20 minutes go through the process then you get that little code you plug it back in and you're all set All right, guys, so I just finished the free HP Tuners Emissions course. Uh, once you're done with that, then you're gonna just hit end chapter. You go down to your perimeter access and it's gonna ask you to enter a new device code. You click on that, then it's gonna give you your new device code that you're going to copy and paste into your HP Tuners editor. So again, free test, took about 20 minutes, wasn't anything that we didn't already know. and now, once we apply that, you have all of your parameters available to you. You wanna make sure that anything that you are changing in here is going to be done on a race car that generally comes in on a trailer and leaves on a trailer. That's all I have for you today. For more tuning knowledge, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned.